On a cool March night in Southern California, just shy of midnight, Ace Hopewell rode his motorcycle through a narrow canyon north of Los Angeles, the engine's low rumble echoing off the deserted cliffs. He glanced over at the looming concrete face of the St. Francis Dam, illuminated by the moon, an imposing structure rising high above the canyon floor. As he passed the dam, something about the stillness made him uneasy. But having traveled this route countless times before, he pressed on without giving it a second thought. Suddenly, a deep roar reverberated through the cliffs. Jolting to a stop, Ace swung his leg off the bike, set the kickstand, and stood quietly, trying to make out where the distant rumbling was coming from. Lighting a cigarette, he scanned the steep hills for falling rocks, dust clouds, anything that could indicate a landslide common to the mountainous terrain. The darkness revealed nothing except the faint smell of disturbed earth and an even fainter sound of rushing water. Assuming he was out of harm's way and that the noise was from a landslide elsewhere, Ace felt relieved. Still, something didn't sit right with him. As restlessness crept over him again, he flicked the cigarette away and continued on, oblivious to the dire reality unfolding behind him. Moments after Ace passed by, water began surging over the top of the weakened dam, tearing cracks wider with each surge. Chunks of concrete broke free, collapsing down the dam's facade and littering the valley floor below. Soon, the full weight of the dam gave way, crashing downward and unleashing a rising, unstoppable flood barreling toward thousands of unsuspecting, often sleeping families below. 